Hi, I'm Elaine. This is Elaine is XYZ and I have a confession to make. I am messy. So if you watch my videos by now, you already know that I'm in my family home in Shanghai. One thing that you might not know is that actually I do have a space for myself here. It's just up in the attic. And since I'm alone in this house, I've basically just been spending all my time on the floor where the kitchen is. And that's all right and all except for I realized today that I have been basically spreading all of my things all over this floor. And that's even after moving most of my luggage up to the attic, so that means that my mess is all over two floors. Anyways, I took a long, hard look around today, and I was embarrassed for myself. And so, since the sun is out, and I'm in a decent mood, I figured, you know what? This is as good a time as any for a good spring cleaning. So, some of this will be focused, as it always is on clothes. Yes, months ago I already minimized my closet to move out of my apartment in Beijing, and then before going to live in Japan for the winter, I created a system to fit three months of winter clothes into one suitcase. And all of that has reduced my current closet a good amount, except then I found even more older clothes of mine that I guess I could still use while cleaning out this house. So now, among my other tasks, I've got to do a spring wardrobe refresh following the principles I've laid out multiple times before. But my closet is probably not the only part where I've realized that I have way more stuff than I need. So I'm also going to take a very good look at the space that is supposed to be mine and see if we can organize that better because goodness knows it doesn't really work right now. Wish me some luck. I don't know how long this is going to take, several days maybe, but hopefully by the end of this I will have a space that makes sense. Okay, so I think this is how I'm going to work it out. From what I can tell, what spaces I would need for the next several months, or really any time I'm up in here, would be obviously somewhere to store my clothes and for me to be able to sleep properly. The next thing that I would like to have is a place where I can actually do dressing up nicely. Like a place where I can do hair and makeup, but also have all my accessories in easy reach so that, you know, I don't forget that certain ones of them exist. I know the first step of all of this will be to clear out that area of my mom's old law books. So, hmm. I guess I better get started. So while I'm cleaning up what will be my glow up corner, here's a tip to make this kind of home clearing project easier, especially when you're living in such an overall mess. Just like I did just now, divide the project into sections and then nest smaller tasks under each section. Absolutely do not look at another section until you're done with the one you're working on. If something about this section creates an extra task, just write it down in your notebook and put whatever the offending object was in a separate part of the house for now. This helps make the project seem a lot less overwhelming. This is kind of the final iteration for now of what this little makeup uh, dress-up station will sort of look like. So soon after building up my little makeup space, I decided to take a break and go for a little jog. Um, and then I came back and was like, oh, you know, that's fine. I think I'll do the rest tomorrow. And then I realized I had brought all my clothes up here. So I had to come up here. And since I'm up here anyways, I might as well start sorting through my clothes. Uh, who needs dinner anyways? Um, one fun little thing that I found just kind of hidden in a corner of this house, which has so much stuff, is this little rack, which should make it easier for me to sort things and look through them to see what I want to actually have in my spring closet. For this tip, I already made a whole nother video about it, so if you want to check that out, you can go into this link above for detail. 
But basically, I advocate for taking some time to figure out a matrix of what you actually need and then seeing what you have that fits into it. This helps you make a more solid decision about what to keep and what you ought to rehome. At least for me, it's easier than deciding in that moment if something, say, sparks joy. Like, okay, some clothes really do spark joy, but I think most of the most used items in our wardrobe tend to be workhorses, you know, basics that fulfill the tasks of being comfortable, generally flattering, and don't clash with the rest of your closet. And if you planned it out right here, you'll know you can wake up in the morning pre-coffee, bleary-eyed, and quickly grab something that will still make you look relatively put together. Well, I'm now about three days into this project. I've put all my clothes away, and you can kind of see the bed area is coming along nicely now. Uh, it looks a lot neater than it used to. I've basically been doing this in fits and spurts while, you know, mm, so that's why there's constant outfit changes from potato version A to potato version B. <laughs> I try to look a little more aesthetic doing this kind of thing, but it seems kind of silly to try to dress up to basically clean house. Anyways, for tonight, what I want to finish is to fold the clothes that I'm planning on giving away. And then tomorrow is when I tackle all of this mess. Woo! Alright, last part. Mm. This is going to be a lot of me actually just like staring at this table trying to figure out where to put what. Okay. So here's the basic premise of this whole table. I divided what was on the desk into three bins, recording accessories, other tech doodads like USBs and wires, and one special to-go box of things I should bring along with me always. I chose these buckets by thinking about the reason I would be spending precious moments searching for something, so organize your stuff as much as you can by use case scenario. While on the surface it seems to make more sense to organize by categories like, for instance, wires or pants, what that actually means is that you'll be constantly running around the entire place trying to find all the disparate items you might need. By going by use case scenario, everything is already packaged right there. Now let's hope I can somehow get into the habit of keeping everything in its right bin. There you have it, a somewhat clean workstation area. And finally, one thing that I think I need to do is find a way to lighten up this space. As you can tell, it doesn't get a lot of light naturally. Uh, and unfortunately, the walls have been painted this kind of canary pastel yellow color, which only serves to make the room feel heavier. And so, while I am absolutely 100% sure I don't want to give this space a full-on uh, makeover and repainting, I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to lessen the yellow of this room a little bit. And while I'm going to be trying my hardest to not buy anything for this area, or at least not too much stuff, I'm wondering if there's some sort of like white stick-on that I can use to maybe decorate these walls so that they're a little less like this. And after thinking it through, I decided to buy about five dollars worth of stickers online and try to stick them up here. Basically, I don't want to have live plants in this area because, well, first of all, I don't know when I'm going to leave again and it seems kind of rude to um, have things up here that would force anybody who lives in this house to come all the way up here to actually water them. And so as a compromise, I bought some like leaf stickers to kind of get that whole, oh, I'm um, somewhat among nature aesthetic even though I'm in an attic. Welcome to my spring cleaned room. I figured since I was cleaning up my space, I would also clean up my hair a little bit as well. And so, new post-apocalyptic world, new haircut. Anyway, here's a not super dramatic transformation sequence of what it looked like before. And 
what it looks like now. please like and subscribe. You can find me off of YouTube on my website and Instagram and see you next time doing whatever it is I'm doing.